The distribution of plants tells us a great deal about the health of the wildlife in the country because all animals in the end are underpinned by the plants that they're eating, either directly or indirectly. The community of plants is the foundation of life on Earth. We need to know, given climate change and anthropogenic forces acting on our natural world, how plants are going to react to those challenges. So specifically, we're interested in the distribution of plants and how they have changed over the last hundred years and use that knowledge to infer how they probably will change into the future. One of the things Britain is amazing at is that it's had botanists recording where plants are and these become central records. We could then analyze those data using artificial intelligence and other modeling methods and divide them up into 10 year periods going back in time and try to work out then how plants are likely to change over time into the future based on how they have changed over time in the past. Plants have different amounts of DNA depending on the species. This means that if you unwind the DNA of a species with a big genome, that DNA would be as tall as Big Ben. In contrast, if you unwind the DNA of a species with a small genome, it would just be a centimetre or two. And what we have found is that plant genome size is an important character in determining how plants are distributed across the British Isles. And what we know is that when human activity influences the environment, for example, climate change and pollution generated by our activities, these have the effect of changing the distribution of plants. That changing distribution we can predict into the future and hopefully work out how they're changing and where they're likely to move to as we move forward in time.